So what's the deal with teepee tents? Here are the problems with most teepee tents. First off, most teepee tents don't have a designated floor and you end up having to use a sheet of Tyvek to basically create a vapor barrier between the ground and your sleeping pad. Tyvek is really loud, it's crunchy, it's also really slippery. Second problem, it's really hard to tell exactly where the tent is going to be set up uh, once it's up. And if you're in uneven terrain, trying to actually move a teepee tent because there's so many stinking stakes, it's really hard. Third problem, most teepees only have one door. And when you have multiple people, when you have a stove, it's just a pain in the butt to only have one entrance. Fourth problem, most teepees don't really have a setup for you to hang things to dry. Luckily, there's a new teepee on the market from Peaks Equipment, this one right here. It's called the Solitude 4, and it addresses all of those problems and more. So let's go check it out. All right, here is Peaks TP tent. This is the Solitude 4. It very comfortably houses two people and a stove. So let's talk about the first problem I addressed earlier. That was a lack of a floor. So this TP comes with the floor. You pitch the floor first. Uh, it covers pretty much the entire surface area of the inside. It's actually got little connectors on the side that you can connect to the outer tent to create basically a bathtub floor. So if it is raining and stuff, you're not gonna have rain coming into the tent. The floor has also got two zippers that you can zip back and make a spot for your wood stove. Having a floor also solves problem number two. So first thing you do when you pitch this tent is you pitch the floor. So the floor, one, two, three, I think there's six stakes and you put the floor down first. And once you have the floor down, you can basically figure out exactly where you're gonna sleep. So if you're in like uneven ground or if there's a bunch of just grass humps and lumps and stuff, you can basically put the floor down first, you can figure out your exact sleep position and then the teepee will go on top of the floor. Before you'd have to pitch the teepee and then kind of hope and pray that you were in a flat spot, which often did not work out. So floor goes down first and then the teepee, you actually connect it to all the stakes um, that are holding in the floor. You throw in the pole, she's up, then there's multiple other guy out points that can help stabilize the teepee. So when I'm by myself, it usually takes me about five minutes to set this whole thing up from floor to center pole to outer tent, as well as tightening all of the outer guy lines. For problem number three, Peaks added a second door. So there's a door in the front and a door in the back. Uh, this can be useful for many reasons. One reason, say you've got a really strong wind coming from this way or snow blowing in this way and you only want to enter and exit the tent that way. So you've got multiple people. Having two doors makes it easier to come in and out. Also, if you've had way too many freeze dries and you're stinking it up or you and your hunting buddy and it's nice to uh, open up both doors and create some nice cross ventilation. So a lot of benefit to two doors. So. The other thing about this door setup is the door is, it's got kind of a big, big kind of half U-shaped zipper instead of being uh, straight down. And this makes it really easy to open the doors. On most other teepees, the door is like a straight up seam. And when you have the teepee staked out and really taut, it's really hard to actually open those doors and get out in and out of these doors. But with this teepee, you can make everything super tight. And then this door is still nice and easy to open. And to address problem number four, which is trying to dry stuff, especially when you have a stove in there, uh, Peaks put in a little mesh canopy in the top. And the other thing you can do is you can take two trekking poles and you can cross them like this in the top of the teepee. You can hang stuff off of them. Uh, doing that cross pole thing will actually add a ton of stability to the tent as well. I've never needed to do that, but if you were in some crazy hellacious winds, you might want to add some extra stability. So again, you can take two trekking poles, you can cross them in the top. Um, that'll add a lot of stability. You can hang stuff from there as well. Uh, it's pretty money set up. Couple very minor improvements I would love to see done to this tent uh, or, or address would be, first off, weight. It's a little bit heavy. It's, it's really not that heavy for what it is, but if they made one out of Dyneema, I mean, we'd be looking at like a two and a half pound tent right now. I think it it hovers around that four pound mark. Second thing, I would love to see color coded guy out points because first thing you do is you pitch the floor and then you pitch the teepee on top of the floor and every guy out point on the teepee has to go to a corresponding um, guy out point or, or stake on the floor. And it's very easy to get those kind of mixed up. And, but if they were color coded, 
it would just be automatic. You would know exactly where those things need to go. I do work with Peaks and help them with photography, video assets, as well as help them design some new products. This truly is the best TP on the market, in my opinion, and I'm happy to put my name behind it. So if you want to get one too and you want to save a few bucks, use code Drake at checkout. Hope you liked this video. Hope you found value in it. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. That would help me out a ton. We'll see you in the next one.